Welcome to the Great Loop Aboard the Perch. This is leg 86 of our Great Loop Adventure, going today from Panama City Beach to Port St. Joe. I'm Kim Russo, the director of America's Great Loop Cruisers Association. And even if you've been following along on this series of our cruising information for the Great Loop, you might have noticed that it's been quite a while since I posted a video like this. We kind of stopped our Great Loop in Panama City Beach about 400 miles short of crossing our wake. And that was largely because our destination for the winter and crossing our wake was um, Fort Myers, Florida, which while we were gone had been devastated by Hurricane Ian. So there was no marina to go back to there. And we took that opportunity to do some more extended cruising. We meandered about the Florida Panhandle along the Gulf Coast, worked our way back up the Tentom uh, Tennessee Tom Bigby, the Ten Tom Waterway, um, heading upriver this time and spend an extended summer and fall on the Tennessee River, which was absolutely lovely, and then made our way back down to the Gulf Coast with the 2023 fleet of loopers. So after about an extra year of just cruising around, we were ready to start making forward progress again on our Great Loop. We spent several months of this journey at Point South Marina Bay Point, which kind of became a second home. Couldn't have been more pleased with that. This is the video of us leaving there. You can see you're going to want to stay in the channel, um, some a low water there. And as we worked our way past the inlet, past Shell, uh, Shell Island, where we had taken many dinghy rides and gone to the beach there, um, this is kind of going through pretty wide waterway of the Grand Lagoon, um, part of St. Andrews Bay. And you'll notice as the cruise continues on this day, we do start to go from pretty wide water to where it narrows down again to the intracoastal waterway. Weather permitting, you can go on the outside through here and just be out into the Gulf of Mexico. Depending on your boat, that can be a much faster trip. Um, weather was not conducive for that, at least not to our liking on this particular cruising day. So we stayed on the intracoastal pathway. You can see it's starting to narrow out there. So about half of this cruise was in big water, um, not the big water of the uh, Gulf of Mexico, but the Grand Lagoon in St. Andrews Bay. So lots of width on the river. And then as we narrowed out here into what is considered the intracoastal waterway. We're working our way to Port St. Joe. The marina there is a sister marina to Bay Point, so it's another Point South Marina, just reopened after Hurricane Michael about five years ago. So both of these marinas are pretty newly built after coming back from a storm. And we are kind of getting ready to stage for our golf crossing, which will be coming up pretty soon. Um, but for today, just stopping at Port St. Joe. So you'll see shortly here, we'll be making a pretty sharp turn to starboard. That puts us into uh, the Port St. Joe Canal. We're headed now directly towards the open water of the Gulf of Mexico. You can see lots of storm damage, lots of um, boats still sunken along that canal way there. And we are going to head into Port St. Joe. Lovely little town, absolutely worth a stop. But that's the navigation for the day. And if you get a chance, check out Port St. Joe. This is our Nebo log for the day. You can see we were underway for about five hours, kind of had our a typical day for us, about 43 nautical miles, and stayed within our eight to 10 typical cruising speed. Uh, that's a overview of the entire route. We will be back soon with our next jump, which will take us from Port St. Joe to Dog Island, where we'll stage for the Gulf Crossing. See you next time.